morning. This is Miss Emily. Welcome to Baby Time. It is Monday, October 11, 2021, and we are having, what are we having today? We're having rhymes and songs, and we're practicing our early literacy skills of talk, sing, read, write, and play. So, let's get started. Well, we haven't had very many windy days to talk about, so let's sing with our cat. Let's sing on a windy Monday. Come along and sing with me, sing with me, sing with me. Come along and sing with me on a windy Monday. Come along and clap with me, clap with me, clap with me. Come along and clap with me on a windy Monday. Come along and roll with me, roll with me, roll with me. Come along and roll with me on a windy Monday. Come along and stretch with me, stretch with me, stretch with me. Come along and stretch with me on a windy Monday. Great job, everyone. Hickety pickety bumblebee, won't you say your name for me? That's a great name. Thank you for saying that. My name is Miss Emily, and I'm glad you're watching Baby Time today. Let's do some more stretches. Let's start with up. Up, down, turn around, touch the sky, and touch the ground. Wiggle fingers, wiggle toes, wiggle shoulders. Say hello. Hi out there. Oh my goodness, look at that little person eating a pear. Pears are a great fruit because you don't have to peel them or do anything to them. You can just eat them as they are. The word pears starts with a p, p, p. Let's sing our song together. P is for pears, that's good enough for me. P is for pears, that's good enough for me. P is for pears, that's good enough for me. Oh, pears, 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 start with P. My goodness, look at that spider. I can do the itsy bitsy spider, can you? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Great job, everyone. It has been pretty cloudy out the last few days. We've had a lot of cloudy days because it's fall and that's what happens. But let's take our five clouds and we'll blow them away. Five little clouds up in the sky, drifting, floating way up high. One disappears from the sky so blue when a big gust of wind came blowing through. Four little clouds up in the sky, drifting, floating way up high. One disappeared from the sky so blue when a big gust of wind came blowing through. <sighs> Three little clouds up in the sky, drifting, floating way up high. One disappeared from the sky so blue when a big gust of wind came blowing through. <sighs> Two little clouds up in the sky, drifting, floating way up high. One disappeared from the sky so blue when a big gust of wind came blowing through. <sighs> oh, only one left. One little cloud up in the sky, drifting, floating way up high. It disappeared from the sky so blue when a big gust of wind came blowing through. <sighs> no more clouds. Great job. I hope that we will have a nice sunny day today since we've blown all the clouds away. Now it's time for our opposites rhyme. Let's start with big. Stretch your arms way out to the side. Are you ready? This is big, 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 and this is small, small, small. This is short, 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 and this is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, 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 and this is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, 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 and this is no, no, no. Great job nodding your hand like you nod your head and pinching two fingers to our thumb to mean no. Oh my goodness, it's the question of the day. Do you have any favorite games to play with your family? 
look at that. Pop Pop and Little Pop and Fire Truck and Dollhouse Dad are playing. Sorry. Mm, we like to play that game at our house, obviously. <laughs> maybe you have some board games you like to play. Or maybe you really like to do the alphabet search when you're on a car trip. Or you really like to count the blocks on the sidewalk when you take a walk. There are plenty of great games. What is your favorite game? All right, do you remember this one from last week? It's all about if there's a fire in your house. And what do you do? Let's sing it together. If there's a fire, if there's a fire in your house, in your house, what do you do? What do you do? You get out! You get out! Good job! Make your first job getting out of the place where there's a fire. And then you can worry about the other things. Now it's time for our orbit song, because we know the Earth goes around every single day, doesn't it? It never stops. And thank goodness, because we would have problems with gravity if that happened. But that's another story. Let's sing together. The Earth turns around, the Earth turns around. Once a day, every day, the Earth turns around. The moon goes round the Earth, the moon goes round the Earth. Once a month, every month, the moon goes round the earth. The earth goes round the sun, the earth goes round the sun. Once a year, every year, the earth goes round the sun. The stars are all around, the stars are all around. Here and there and everywhere, the stars are all around. Good job. Mmm, that looks like some yummy popcorn. I have some popcorn for my snack today. But let's be popcorn right now. Are you ready? You're going to get to jump. Pop, 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 you put the corn in the pot. Pop, 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 you sh shake it till it's hot. Pop, 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 lift the lid and what have you got? Pop, 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 popcorn! You are very jumpy popcorn today. All right, and we have a counting rhyme for October. October is Fire Safety Month, and this one's called Five Little Firefighters. So we can do our fingers at the same time. Five little firefighters sleeping in their beds. The first one said, put your helmet on your head. The second one said, down the pole will slide. The third one said, get ready to ride. The fourth one said, put your face mask on your nose. The fifth one said, I'll grab the hose. Then woo went the siren and out went the fire. And all the firefighters could finally retire. Oh, I'm so glad that they got their fire taken care of and they were able to go back and rest. Good job, firefighters. And now it's time for the months of the year. Do you remember what month we're in? Hmm, it's orange. And it has a pumpkin. Oh, yes, October. It's in October right now. So let's say our month's in order because we know that's a good math skill, putting things in order. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Great job. And now it's time for some parent encouragement. Even very light physical activity improves mood and cognitive performance by triggering the brain to release dopamine and serotonin, similar to the way that stimulant medications like Adderall do. Okay, so what does this mean for us? This is a quote from John Ratty, an associate professor of psychiatry at Harvard. And he published this, an article about how people should think of exercise as medication because your brain is releasing these feel-good chemicals, dopamine and serotonin. So that works the same way that medications do, um, specifically medications that are meant to make your mood better make you pay attention better. So our mood is getting better. We're feeling less grouchy and grumpy and our brain is working better. We're more able to process what's going on around us just by getting out and doing something. Well, play is the way we increase those good chemicals. So go outside, take a walk, do some stretches, dance around the house. Play can look like a number of things. It doesn't just have to be a board game. It doesn't just have to be wrestling on the floor or on the couch. It can be all kinds of stuff. 
I have two sons, you know that, one of whom likes to wrestle and roughhouse and get out and play, you know, physical games, one of whom like to sit and cuddle and just be close and do fun things like that. So play can be a lot of different things. Get out and play today. What day is it today? Do you remember? Oh yeah, it's Monday, our favorite day for baby time. Let's sing our song about Monday. Today is Monday, today is Monday, all day long, all day long. Yesterday was Sunday, tomorrow will be Tuesday. Let's have fun, let's have fun. Look at all those letters. Do you see your letter on there? Hmm, I'm looking. I know a way to find our letters. It's in the ABCs. Let's sing them together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay! Great singing today! Well, let's look at this. It's time for head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Okay, we did a different tune last week. Let's go back to the London Bridge tune today. <laughs> we'll go back and forth. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, eyes, ears, mouth, and nose. Yay, you did a great job. Shall we do it again? Okay, head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes, head and shoulders, knees and toes, eyes, ears, mouth, and nose. Good job, everybody. Oh my goodness, that baby's just jumping out of this crib. That's a crazy thing. Let's do some fun activities for this song. Let's start with clapping. This is the way we clap our hands, clap our hands, clap our hands. This is the way we clap our hands so early in the morning. This is the way we stomp our feet, stomp our feet, stomp our feet. This is the way we stomp our feet so early in the morning. This is the way we tap our toes, tap our toes, tap our toes. This is the way we tap our toes so early in the morning. This is the way we pat our heads, pat our heads, pat our heads. This is the way we pat our heads so early in the morning. Oh my goodness, it's the goodbye train. Already? We have had a fun time at baby time. I hope you'll be back next week to watch again. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. The goodbye train is leaving. The goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Charles. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Miles. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Finley. We'll say goodbye to Constance. We'll say goodbye to Lincoln. See you soon, toot toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Maggie. See you soon, toot toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Genevieve. See you soon, toot toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Madeline. We'll say goodbye to Oscar. We'll say goodbye to Farron. See you soon, toot toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Crew. See you soon, toot toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Juniper. See you soon, toot toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Easton. We'll say goodbye to Larray. We'll say goodbye to everyone. See you soon. Toot, toot. Bye, everybody. This is Miss Emily saying see you next week for baby time. And don't forget to do your reading this week and come to story time on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday in Ludington and Friday in Scottville, all at 10 o'clock. Uh, dress for the weather. We're going to be outside. And Miss Miranda and Miss Sue and Miss Tammy will see us and have fun activities and games and a craft to take home. So, bye now.